Okay, time for Vicky MOP Vlog again. Today we have On Your Mark, written story by Dave Pokey and written by Dave Pokey and Josh Haber. Bit of a collab. I'm gonna bet you that because Josh Haber did out that Vicky Capricorn by Dave Pokey. He didn't mention him, Kofo. We lied. Um, man, Josh Haber really been stepping it up lately and took up the role. Anyway, go on, Vicky Capricorn. Go, as you know, last game the character Cutie Mark from Canada finally got Ricky Mark. Go! What now? Well, that's what they're wondering, the couple code. They're basically wondering what they had to put do now, can they can't do now. Can't, they know they have to help up people find a chemo, you know, but, you know, they have to, but how are we gonna find people? How, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do on their own? What does this mean for them? And that will go up and go. They lack of a big plot with, with a lot going on, more like just Grant Cannon wondering what to do now in the very stage of that. They wonder. How to find people with cleanup problems and gangway. How do you do it? What do I do for personal line? What do we gonna do as a group at the club, club, club house, whatever? You know, all that stuff. And that is what makes Pokemon kind of interesting. Because I can see some people not. Actually, I can see some people thinking the plot is so I can guide, but it doesn't kind of work this way. They do end it up. Combining both the major things we're talking about, and it doesn't kind of think more realistic and sort of leisurely, rather than just a big bunch of plot points. Yeah, and I think uh, Kimaku and Kira Gapakun can be light on. I don't think in the short time, we're going to pointless intensely. In fact, you know, because a lot of them can be kind of like that. And, you know, like Kira and K-pop and everyone that go on, like, you know, filler and stuff. And, and then kept going for the cake of exploring all the avenue kind of thing. And it kind of make kind of despite the fact that it kind of light, light on. I kind of think it meant they're going to jump around a bit to like it dark off with them, you know, wanting one thing but doing another. And I want to talk about the visual joke here, like. But, um, but for having both back to the computer and kind of get him bigger from all yet, he get a bunch of line, actually. I thought he popped up, I thought that was going to be by him, but then he did computer at all. But he had a few weekend lines, he kind of can't problem with golf, but, which we're going to really take all that much, but, oh well. Uh, and three other appear, kind of got a nude model. Well, they're all naked, so like a probably big million. And in our stuff, um, don't worry. Uh, you know, but probably right, but we don't know when we're close. Terrible. Oh, the song the cup code for Song of the King, which is a cat called my Apple Bloom, where she worried about how that she won't find anything of she could do like on her own, be, on her own, because she's going to do stuff with her friend. And it's a nice song, not the most memorable song we'll show on it, but it's a sweet kind of song, and you know, of course, I'm so pleased we're getting the king again. Apple Bloom solo, and it was really good, so it's a sweet song, it's kind of dull. Um, you know, so there you go. Um, and you know, so they have a Russian ballet teacher pony, which is, I believe she's down here joined. Um, you know, um, some cool. Oh, I'll try that. Wait, not better. Okay, um, but the interesting thing about going to that is, I like the way it kind of works. You know, after going to the park, you think, okay, go they just go out and find your park and back in, right? No, but the couple of no one a little more to it than that. You, you got um, you know, we have to figure out how we're going to grab it. And it kind of like bloom and gloom of them all with people wondering. And Raj Abrams, like, a program that might be white, like, bloom and gloom. Um, man, they put in a lot of, like, stuff like, dealing with your Apple family stuff, you know, that, uh, very, Wanted when they were gone, um, but of course, we'll have it. Because if I would go heavy, I would focus near the end. Go, you doing a lot of key mark and stuff, and mostly good with my think. I I mean, this one was like the greatest, but I do feel like they were okay with the writing there, so they will try time for that. So, yeah, I think they were gonna combine the kind of probably because the jam can get really good at that stuff. I think you should invite more key up from now on. You can really good at them. I think you'll Apple Bloom. Great with Apple Bloom, apparently. Um, from Josh Haber, um, quick out, and the story by Claire I'm interested in, because I've been, I've been kind of very investigating, and a lot of people he shouldn't have had to write from that one, because none of what in the episode is hidden. He needs to keep the original concept for him to do what kind of thing. So, I'm kind of, like, we're not going to provide credit, calling interesting, but, 
it's a couple of really good ones though. But we can, I did like the way they blew up the avenue and had the character. And, you know, we we're going to ask the park, I assume. I don't know what part we're going to do next, but I assume we we're just going to be in a episode entirely focused on them helping a guy. But no, they pour a few other things here. You know, the way they do it. And it makes me in 22 minutes, I'm going, well, shit, what now? And, you know, and they pour a few. I don't know what they can do from this point on. But I'm sure I got a potential for dueling with them. Um, but, you know. And what I do love about the most is the moral. Because the whole moral basically can exactly like, okay to do things on your own. Which I really like. Cause I, I think I might have explained this before. But I always feel that a lot of kids should put too much emphasis on you know, teamwork and whatnot to the point of becoming big to, like, big gay for you coming on your own fucking crazy. Like, you know, I, you know, and other point is tackling the country in the sense that you don't only got to do things your your friends or whatever. You can have, it's okay to have life outside of them and do things on your own. You know, again, I kind of like that. Cause in the end, she you don't, know, and they even came, they're probably better they probably even were good friends but sometimes we get, get and so we can help people take a fat. You know, the club, you know, so it, again, I like that. Again, it's good to teach kids that go take a on your own because so many kids don't don't teach that luck and they're having good people to catch it that she I applaud that one a lot for, so it's always great to hear that kind of luck and then that again, that can really refreshing that's why I was like my first one. So this was a really good one. I liked um, the song with Nike. I liked to see what happened to him after a fan. The fan, we're gonna tell go hard to. But it was difficult. They didn't find two new parts. It was kind of sort of free, but it really addressed a lot. Think, well, and had a very good moral and, you know, a welcome funny moment. And I uh, did like the way they tied something at the end. I don't know what story going to do for them. Come never now, huh? Well, but what way necessarily, you know? I mean, the going come any way you can have a story like that, you know? The going come way you can have a story of them. We'll go, I'm sure we'll find a way to mix it up, you know? Mm. I think the part of why, they, why a lot of people assume that they'll get the key mark computer and the key ring code, we don't have to do a problem. Like, oh, we have to the key ring code, it doesn't really matter. But now, we can probably do it as a challenge because the key, if they can give them like, a purpose without being tied to the key mark, because. A lot of them you know, were basically just them learning the same thing over and over again, but they had up some that, yeah, like, had them, you know, doing some, like, have them do everything that like, barely like the camera thing, like, probably confidential, and, um, you know, or govern, you know, so, this is my favorite of you know, Far Out free episode. I already beat the premiere, I believe. I think it took a little bit to beat the premiere. I, what was the one that beat the premiere? I don't remember. But, yeah, I'm just a little bit beat from here. But this one, I'm ready. Top and go. I don't think a whole lot to add, actually. It was really good that we go and did a lot of things quite well, and it was different and added good moral, blah, blah. You know, like, I personally, yeah, but I think I just feel might go, and yeah, won't come on. And again, again, you know, I thought, I thought. The way they gave him a cocaine and a mark was really good. I liked how they handled that. I thought that was perfectly, for the most part, in terms of how they got Rikini Mark and blah blah blah. And not to mention, it doesn't, if I put into a repetitive cocaine type story, and they can have, because they could do things without them, because they can help story on the wrong without being tied to King Mark thing, even if it's only. And for control, you can we can apply, and you could have done apply even after the game, we can still think on the wrong own for fun. They were like, oh crap, we're kin, so that's all I got for the particular episode. I'll see you next week for, um, I believe, I think I know next week. Um, I mean, next week is Gauntlet of Fire, which I'm really looking forward to. Going bike up a code. Hehehehe. <laughs> please be good one. Please be good one. But I'll. Uh, but for now, I, I'll see you next time for a little pet shop. Take care.